All right, Halos, we are back in Skyrim once again. It's been a quick minute since I last played, actually. Um, but we're going to jump right back into it, basically. Is that a ship over there? It looks like it kind of is kind of marooned or something. But either way, um, <clears throat> I know our next mission is to learn the location of the Elder Scroll, which we got to go to the College of Winterhold to, uh, to check that out at. Oh, hello, Lydia. How you doing? Oh, I thought she had her eyes closed. She did. She was, like, blinking. Uh, but yeah, there's a little bit of a cave down here, and I think last part I said I was going to go explore it. Um, so let's go ahead and do that real fast. Let's find out what it is exactly first. See if it's worth exploring. Uh, oh, maybe it's not a cave. Let's see. Journeyman's Nook. Okay. Oh, okay, you can go in there. Oh, hello. Alright. He's doing a little uh, dance for me, it looks like. That's cool of him. Never come yep, he saw me. Alright, that's fine. Let's go take him out real quick. Roast him alive a little bit. Ouch! Holy cow, he hurts a lot. Oh my goodness. Did he have some poison or something? That guy freaking hurt. No, he didn't. What a legend. He was kind of wrecking me there, not gonna lie. Uh, Alright, Borvir, who's this? Got some mage robes, some lock picking, strength. What else we got in here? Magica, frost like venom, frost bite venom, rather. Herbalist Guide to Skyrim, I believe we already read that because we didn't get a skill from it, but that's fine. Uh, the Firmament, I think we also read. Let me double check real quick. Uh, but we can definitely sell that other book that we just picked up. Herbalist Guide, because it is worth a decent amount of money. Um, how are we. On, sorry, I had to cough real fast. Uh, how are we on, like, sleep bonus? Doesn't look like we have it at all, so let's go ahead and sleep real quick then. Uh, Pala Volume 1. I don't think we've read that. Let me look at that real fast. Uh, Pala. Have we read it? I'm also checking my list real quick. No, we have not. Alright, let's read it real quick. Pala Volume 1. Or Book 1 by however you say that name. Alright, actually a pretty decent say length one, uh, but yeah, that's going to be that one done. We can, uh, you can obviously pause to read it, as always. Uh, Borvir's dagger, oh, what the heck, I didn't even know you had a special dagger. Does it do anything special, or? It's a named item, but it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it's just a, the same regular dagger damage, okay. Well, at least we looked. Uh, I think that's it for this place. Does it say cleared now, then? It does. Nice. Good stuff. That's what we like to see. Alright, um, looks like there's a cave down there as well, but I'm going to continue on to the College of Winterhold, and then we can continue to explore the rest of the map, because we will be 100%ing the entire game, as far as I'm aware. Um, at least that's the plan. But, uh, yeah, right now, let's kind of focus on quests a little bit more, especially this main one. Uh, if there is any alchemical ingredients, though, I would... Definitely not mind grabbing them. The sun's up there, chilling. Some snowberries. Oh, that's not what I meant. There we go. That's what I meant. You got some flowers here, snowberries. What else? What else? Looks like just that for now. Oh, hello. I'm gonna get a quick sneak attack in on you, buddy. Or maybe not. Somehow you detected me, but that's okay. Ouch. Oh my goodness, there's two bears? Hold up, guys. Oh, hold on a second. There we go, another the one at least. Trying to level up some of my destruction magic a little bit here. There we go. Good job, guys. Thank you, Lydia, for tanking for me. <laughs> wow. I did not expect to get attacked by two bears at the same time, I'll be honest. That was a little bit rough, but we'll be okay. 
we'll be okay. Hopefully the audio isn't like too low or anything. Hopefully you guys can hear well. It should be fine, but uh, sometimes this thing bugs out a little bit, so we'll have to see. All right, so we're almost there. We're almost there. Ooh, what's this? Iron ore. I will take the iron ore, actually. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. I've been working on the railroad all the live. Oh, okay, we're done. All right, let's move on. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Looks like the college is probably over there. What else we got? Snore snow berries. Those ones weren't covered with snow though. Looks a little strange almost. Uh, some like broken down house here. What the heck? Interesting. All right, let's check out. Um, where should we go first? Let's check out the tavern first real fast. And then we'll talk to the Jarl. This place is pretty small, so we can. Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. Well, it's, uh, it sounds like this volume's a little bit low. I'm sorry, guys. One second. Let me move this up a little bit. Let's see if that helps. This. Say the word if you need a drink. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Um, How long are we going to let Ranmir drink himself into a stupor? When will enough be enough? As long as he keeps paying, I suppose. He keeps himself and isn't hurting anyone. Oh, are you sure of that? I think Birna might disagree with you. It's not Birna. my place to get involved in their family's business, remember? You're the one that told me to stay out of it. <laughs> Alright, Renmir. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Okay. Um, Ranmir beg a drink from you yet? All right. That's gold wasted, friend. What's wrong with Ranmir? He owes this tavern enough coin to burn it down, build it back up, then burn it down again just for laughs. <laughs> He's had some troubles in his life, but I can't have him drinking here without at least paying back some of the coin he owes. Uh, what if I talk to Renmir? Go right ahead. He just might be sober enough to listen to you. <laughs> Why is it so empty here? You mean the inn or Winterhold? I suppose it's the same answer either way. Winterhold's fallen on hard times, to say the least. Most folk packed up and left years ago. Few of us are either too stubborn or too crazy to go, so we do our best to make a living. A uh, nice place you have here. It's not much, but we get by. Very little money passes through Winterhold anymore. But if there's one thing you can count on, it's folks needing a drink now and then. Yeah, fair enough. <coughs> have See a good ya. day. Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. I'm just trying to have a quiet drink here, all right? Uh, you need to pay Haran back all of your debt. Your, for all your drinks. Say what I should do. I'll pay her back when I'm ready. Hmm. Let's see if persuade works. Do you owe her gold? Pay it. You're right. What would my forefathers think if they knew I wasn't paying my debts? Tell Haran I'll bring her the gold I owe. Haran. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, the persuasion check worked. Hopefully that levels up our um our speech skill a little bit as well. We may not have as much to offer as White Run or Solitude, but we'll do what we can to make your stay a pleasant one. Thanks. Uh, Ranmir's agreed to pay, pay his debts. He's not a bad man, just bad with his coins and his drink. My husband Dagger could tell you stories there. I have a couple of Ranmir's things that he traded to us back when he was still paying regularly. I say you've earned them. Dwarven bow, leather helmet. Good I day. mean, sure, I guess. It's not too bad. What is my current bow, by the way? Elven 22? And uh, the Dwarven, how much is that? 20, 20 uh, damage, not dollars. Alright, <clears throat> good to know. If you have business with the college, you're welcome to stay here. It's where most of our business comes from, in fact. Well, what can you tell me about Winterhold? I'm afraid there's not much to be said. Winterhold is hardly what it used to be. You can talk to Birna if you need to buy anything. He doesn't have much, but could certainly use the coin. And then there's our little inn. Most of the business we get is from folks here to visit the college. 
Well, even that's dried up some. Hmm. Uh, anything around here that needs doing? Well, not exactly. Listen, we're friends, right? I wonder if I could ask a favor of you. <laughs> uh, what can I do for you? It's about Ranmir. Don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with him being here all the time. He mostly keeps to himself, and so far he's been able to pay. I just hate to see what's happened to him. He hasn't always been like this, you know. Drunk, I mean. Um, what did he used to be like? Well, he was a different person. Happy, outgoing, like anyone who's in love. So what happened to him? See, Ranmir was involved with a pretty young woman named Isabel Rolaine. The two of them were very happy together, I thought. One day, she just disappeared. Ranmir was convinced she'd run off with someone else, leaving him behind. He turned to drinking. And what's left of him is what you see here every day. Hmm. What can be done about it now? I'm not sure. I hope that maybe if she could be found, if he had some sort of explanation, that maybe he could put himself back together. I'm in no position to go searching for her, but perhaps you could. Uh, maybe. That's good to know. Also, it didn't pop up a quest there. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if we can actually find her or not. Um, <clears throat> I heard, overheard something about a college. That's right. College of Interval, just north of town. Hard to miss. Alright. Uh, what have you got for sale? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem like anything super important for me, though. Good day. Good day. Hello, Nelikar. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. You're with the college? No. Gods no, not for years. I left Winterhold for some time, and returned to stay here at the inn. Uh, why would you live here at the inn? I still have research that keeps me busy, and being here in Winterhold ensures I have access to former colleagues. Hmm. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Um, let's sell you this, and probably this. I want to see if I can disenchant it first, though. Uh, you can have this, and I'll keep... You can have this as well, but I'll keep this for now. Uh, what else we got in here? Nothing that I want to sell. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I understand uh, Courier's been complaining about our customers again. What of it? It's our inn. And they cause him no harm. I believe he was suggesting their presence causes him harm. Well, then he's welcome to eat and drink at home, isn't he? Hmm. Alright, let's continue on outside and check out the Jarl's uh, hut building, whatever you want to call it. Longhouse, yeah, there you go. That's a good word for it. Something happening over here? Never mind. Alright, uh, what's up, Mallor? People won't say it, but they're afraid of me, so they leave me alone. What do you do around here? Me? Nothing. And I hope to keep it that way. The Jarl is convinced I have some connection with the college, so he goes easy on me. Maybe you'd like to help me keep up appearances. Old Nelikar has a major staff in his room in the Frozen Heart. It'd be good to have that staff. In case the Jarl starts wondering if I actually have a real connection to the college. <laughs> uh, I'll get it for you. Thanks. I'll be waiting for it. It's kind of shady, but all right. Um, <clears throat> Safe travels. Thanks. Let's talk to this guy real quick. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Kai Wet Pommel, <laughs> what a name. How do you feel about this war? Skyrim is the birthplace of humanity, the birthplace of honor, and those snow-backed Imperials renounced both when they laid down before the Thalmor. Worse still, to pay for the privilege to keep his throne, the Emperor sells Skyrim and our very gods, Talos no less, to the damn elves. And what did Thorin do? He and the Isles that supported him, they took the Emperor's gold, sold out their people for a slave master's peace treaty. Ulfric did right killing him. Soon we'll rid Skyrim of elves, their bloody Justicars, and the Jarls in their pockets. The whole damn lot of them. And we'll cleave through the Legion to get to them. Alright, uh, how does one join the Stormcloaks? Ulfric's <coughs> not running a social club. 
You don't join anything. Either you're a true son of Skyrim, or you're not. If you are, then you make your way to Windhelm and talk to the man himself. If you're not, well, friend, you'd best walk away before this gets ugly. Uh, why are you called Stormcloaks? At first they called us that to belittle our cause. But we gladly accept being named for Ulfric Stormcloak, the only true High King of Skyrim. We are the true sons and daughters of Skyrim, and Ulfric. He is the truest of us all. We fight to make our land great once more, to raise up strong, noble thanes, and lay low false jarls and the cowards who hide behind them. The sound of our fury is a storm about to break on the heads of our enemies. Our friendship, a cloak of true brotherhood for all who would wear it. All right, it's a pretty good explanation. All uh, right. Um, Ours is the only family left that truly cares what happens to Winterhold. Thane will be the first to tell you that if it weren't for that college, we'd all be better off. I agree with him. All right. Uh, Query. How many colleges they build, or how much the sea swallows up? I'll outlast them all. What's your business here in Winterhold? Um. Just passing through. Stay clear of that college. If you know what's good for you, nothing but foul deeds behind those walls. All right. Uh, let's see. I'd like to know more about Winterwold's history. What's there to tell? It's mostly gone now, thanks to those damned mages in the college. Some day there'll be proof they caused the great collapse. Most of the city just dropping off into the sea. That doesn't just happen. What's wrong with the college? Look around you. Winterhold is in this state because of those damn mages. They sit up there in their tower, doing gods know what. And who watches over them? The guards don't even dare go up there. Unless they've no choice. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone in here? No, it looks like just the bedroom. Alright, uh, I think we're good. Let me double check up here real fast. Asura? How come you're in Winterhold? My pa says people like you are the reason no one lives here anymore. What the heck, bro? That's kind of rude. All right. Anyways, let's let's move on. <coughs> Stay out of trouble, lizard. Stay out of trouble yourself. Yeah, definitely. Uh, ooh, hello. Let me see if there's some eggs I can grab here. Nice, good stuff. You be careful. You ran into me. Alright, uh, let's check out Bruno's oddments. Your typical merchant, general goods merchant. I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? I will. I do what's necessary so we can get by. Have to, since I can't count on my brother for anything. Okay, why set up shop here? Wasn't by choice, I can tell you that. Options were in short supply. Branmir and I grew up here, and nearly any money I make, he drinks away. Without the coin to pack up and leave, I decided to take to trading. All right, interesting. Do you get much business way up here? Very funny. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. So I'll sell whatever I can. If it's worth putting a price on, you can bet I'll do it. I've been right. burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. You said something about a bad deal? Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. What was the story? Some line about this clothing and Ingol Barrow. He said it was worth more than its weight in gold if I took it back there. Something about placing it back in Ingol's chamber, I don't know. What was I thinking? Even if it were true, I'm not setting foot in some ancient tool filled with who knows what. I could look into it for you. I don't even care anymore. <clears throat> you want to check it out? Fine. I'll sell you the thing for 50 gold, and then it's your problem. All right, I'll take that claw for 50 gold. Fine, here you go. You get killed <clears throat> on account of this thing, it's not my fault. Got it? But I suppose if it does actually turn out to be worth something, let me know, will you? Uh, all right. Coral Dragon Claw at Ingle's Barrel. Okay, so it didn't give us a quest there either, but... <clears throat> that's something we can definitely do um, pretty soon here actually I think 
just gotta find that. I think I know roughly where it is, but I'll have to double check. Either way, what have you got for sale? Odds and ends, that sort of thing. <clears throat> oh, I think I'll wrap up the episode here in just a minute, but I wanna make sure I can <clears throat> sell or uh, whatever some of this stuff. Borvir's dagger. <clears throat> I can sell it. Excuse me, sorry. So it looks like that it's not a quest item. All right, just Elven War Axe, the Falmer Bows, the Falmer Sword. What else do we have? Kind of get rid of some of the heavier stuff first if we can. Oh yeah, the chorus stuff. All right, I think we're good there. Let's uh, let's do. I think this bow I want to sell, and then is there anything here that I missed? I think we're good there. Maybe let's sell some of these scrolls. I generally don't use scrolls very much. Um. <clears throat> Can sell one of those. There we go. Perfect. That should be pretty good. Aye. Aye. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's go outside real quick. Uh, one more thing I want to check real quick is well, let's do this this quest real fast. Um, right in here. There we go. And then I think I want to check out Ingles Barrow real quick, but <clears throat> give me just a second. There we go. He didn't see us, luckily. <laughs> uh, so let's get out to Mel Maller. Which, luckily, is st sitting right here. I don't really know anyone at the college. I guess everyone just assumes I do because I'm a Dunmer. Here's Nelikar's staff. This should come in handy. Here, let me show you a few tricks I've learned about buttering up royalty. Oh, well, thanks. Speech increased to 42. Alright, that was it, I guess. Alright, um... <clears throat> yeah, that's what we're going to be need, need to be doing, but I do want to quickly find Ingle's Barrel, which I think is... up north here somewhere. Let me just double-check on my map in real life. One second, guys. No, wait, wait, it's way down here on the right. Okay, got it. Let's find it then. Where are we at? Here we go. Ingles Barrow, it's saying it's right around here. So, let's find it. Uh, I wanna. I just want to do it real fast while it's still in my brain. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll stop the episode here. And we'll head out to Ingles Barrow tomorrow. And then, uh, or in the next part, I mean. And then after that, we can finish at the College of Winterhold little part of the quest uh, for the Elder Scroll. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you there. Peace.